All right, sounds good, thanks. Tonight, a live look at the iconic aerial lift bridge in Duluth, lit blue and yellow to support Ukraine, adding to a slew of iconic structures across the country and world, lit to support the freedom we Americans sometimes take for granted. And the moment tonight comes after an overwhelming stand Duluthians took the last few days. The community urged Mayor Emily Larson over the weekend to light the lift bridge blue and yellow and forget about her policy that doesn't accept any special requests to light the bridge. At first she stuck to the policy but then had a change of heart this morning saying in a post online quote sometimes you make a decision based on important variables like rules and fairness and then understand that those things really don't apply. The community is right. Thank you for reminding me of who Duluth is. And meanwhile tonight some may say there there's been too much hoopla or too much pressure on our mayor the last few days through news stories and social media involving the push to light the lift bridge for Ukraine like countless other iconic structures across the country. But for Duluthians, especially born and raised in Ukraine, they tell me this is a huge deal and means a lot. I came out here to check out uh, the bridge lit up. Um, uh, I am originally from Ukraine. I was. Uh, um, hoping that uh, this would happen. Duluth's iconic lift bridge lit for Ukraine, something Duluth residents were pleading for and have now finally received. The whole community around the world really showing uh, great support um, to Ukrainian people and uh, we see it and, and appreciate it very much. Vladimir Skurda moved to Duluth from Ukraine in 1999 at the age of 15 and is thankful Duluth is now visibly showing support for his people. It's a big uh, um, symbol of Northland and uh, and uh, freedom, and this is exactly what uh, Ukrainian people are fighting for right now. So um, I feel it's pretty appropriate. Bogdana Klivogorsky is also from Ukraine and moved to Duluth in the 90s. She says pushing the city to light the bridge signifies America's freedom to speak out against government, unlike what's happening overseas. In Russia, people go to protest knowing, absolutely knowing, that they're going to be thrown in jail, beat up, broken ribs. And she says the Ukrainian glow on the lift bridge gives a powerful feeling of comfort for people in Ukraine facing Russia's invasion right now. Duluth is a gateway to the world. It's a, sh it's a, it's a shipping canal. It's a huge deal. It's shown that I can snap a picture and showed it to my friends, my classmates, my family back in Ukraine saying, hey, we support you. Hey, we stand with you, even though we're not physically there. It's a night of unity in Duluth with a local government simple lighting of a bridge to support a country's right to freedom, but also a possible learning moment about our own freedoms here at home. The lesson is that absolute power doesn't matter. Is it in Duluth or is it in Russia or anywhere else in the world? It can be challenged by the people. And that's wonderful, wonderful, precious thing. Slava Ukraini, Heroim Slava. Glory to Ukraine, glory to the heroes. I feel like, like this is a great uh, gesture that uh, has been done, so I appreciate everybody who uh, were involved in uh, um, getting this lit up and uh, spreading the message. All right, the lift bridge and anger tower will be lit for Ukraine through Sunday. Mayor Larson says her administration will have an updated lighting policy for both structures in 60 days. Larson did decline an on-camera interview today other than her statement on social media this morning.